Richard Locke writes, it's my sixth month anniversary of finding you guys. Love the show. Yay. I've heard you talk about R ratings versus PG-13 ratings on several episodes of your show, most recently in regards to Deadpool. You talked about cleaning up the language and violence to bring an R-rated movie down to PG-13. But where is that line? In X-Men, First Class, Wolverine tells Xavier and Lencher to go F yourself, and it was PG-13. So is one F-bomb okay, or is two the maximum? Can you throw in one F-bomb and one decapitation? What's, <laughs> what's the <laughs> formula it, there's a, there is more art than science to it although the, the the mpa does have some general guidelines i believe currently the guideline as far as language go is two two of the big f-bombs i think you're allowed to drop depending on the context i even with those so you are not allowed to say the mf bomb that is not allowed uh that that's when you're automatically going into our territory nudity is a big thing with that although we as we've seen in the past there brief shots toplessness whatever a little butt shot here or there uh we're, we're talking about my instagram account no um <laughs> the, little things like that they if, they if it's done very mildly and non-suggestively they will sometimes let that slip into what has become the bigger issue um has been what what like in my interpretation of it because like i said with the mpa there's there's more art to it than science uh, they feel it out. It's a little bit subjective, which you know, brings into question a lot of issues of fairness that they apply, and, and they've been accused of not being very fair from time to time, appropriately so. Is gore. You know, you can have Transformers, right? You can have Optimus Prime pull out his huge sword, stab it through the gut of a Decepticon, run it up his body, eventually ripping out his head with his Decepticon mm -hmm. spine flying around, blah, 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 PG, no problem. You cannot do that with, you know, a, a movie with us in it and Dennis Zen drives a store, sword through Christian and pulls off his head with a spine and blood splatter. That becomes R. I find that they've become, in, in the recent five years or so, they've become much more sensitive to blood and gore than the other stuff. They still have their standards, but that's that's kind of the way I perceive it. Christian, how do you... Yes, but it, it's crazy, especially in, in here, nudity... And sex is is more. It's like you. There's, there's more things that you can not do with with both nudity. Uh, you you show two nipples, okay, fine. You show three, uh oh, NC seventeen. No, it's weird. <laughs> it's really strange. But you can. There's there's so much you can get away with with violence, but eventually there's a limit. But as far as language goes, I think I think it's two f bombs. I think, um, but it, depending on context. Watch out, Christian, because I'm going to come, come after you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I heard read it's one or two F-bombs, and it's always context. If it's, like, sexual in nature, that's where they kind of oh, draw, yeah, the yeah, draw the line. Then yeah, they yeah. go to an R rating. But if it's not, and it's more kind of just in the speech of something. Like Wolverine in the bar, right. too. Like, yeah. It's a, it's a yeah. joke, whatever. But I think even older movies, at least in the 80s, I think Big even had an F-bomb. And that was PG, not even PG-13, that was PG. So it's I think... Did they're, Big have an F bomb in it? I, that's what I read. I'll have to so, ask Anne. That's like yeah. her favorite movie of all time. But, but I think they're trending more towards okay, if you do it, it has to be at least PG 13. But you're right about nudity, unless it's like Titanic, where it's like this artistic right, thing, where right. it's that type of thing, then no, they're never going to have that in there. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.